Hey guys, Tooch here with No Skunk Nation. How are you guys doing? Oh, I know it's been a while since I've <clears throat> uploaded a video, but this is what I'm doing now, uploading a video. Finally, it's been it's been a rough couple of months, doing a lot of overtime, just been super busy. But this video that I'm going to show you guys is probably about maybe a month ago, month and a half ago that we went on this outing we went smallmouth fishing and um had a lot of mess ups you guys will see in the video i caught my my four pounder that um i was like super excited about this is my official pb i know here in wisconsin we have a lot of good lakes for for um big smallmouth but every time we go out i don't i usually don't bring my scale so i don't scale my fishes but this is my official with an actual scale. And uh, you guys will see my mess up in the video. And uh, yeah, I'm going to turn you guys loose so you guys can see the video. And then, yeah, it's it's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> but it's alright. You know, we all make mistakes in life. And this is one of them. But I caught it. And you guys will see it in the video. So enjoy, guys. There you go. Finally got our first one. Yep. Sheephead, bro. Sheephead. Aw, <laughs> oh, this sucks. This sucks. It's a fat one, too. It's a fatty. It's a fatty. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Oh, fish on. Right there. Right there, second one. Is that a small mouth? Hopefully. Oh, 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 damn, that guy's pulling pretty hard. Oh, dude, that's a good one, dude. Oh, wow. Dude, that's a good size one, dude. Do not lose this. Do not lose this. Oh. There you go, guys. What? Dude, it is ginormous, dude. Dude, I'm serious, dude. I gotta get a weight on this fish, guys. I. Look at that. Look at that stomach, dude. Oh, you'll see it in the video. She was barely hooked. Where's my wear? I don't know. They're feeding, though. Can you see that stomach? Look at that stomach, dude. Uh, okay. Dude, they're literally biting right in front of you. Uh -huh. Not in front of me, in front of you. Oh, okay, or that. I don't know. Well, let me come around you then. Oh, there you go. Yep. No, this one's a lot smaller. There you go. Dude, you're scaring them, dude. They're literally biting right there. Oh. Just come sit next to me. There you go. They're eating. Yeah, guys, so they're literally sitting right there. That's where I caught my sheep head and my other small mall. So 
what I'm doing is I'm just throwing it out there and I'm just slow dragging it either I'm dragging it I'm letting that current take and I'm just hopping it just super slightly and they're just picking it up really light they're not even smashing them so it's a Ned, Ned rig kind of day so I'm feeling a lot of rocks right now and that's where I'm getting most of my bites oh right there right there what did I say through the rocks dude that's good. Oh, doubled up, dude. I told you, dude. Don't lose it. Mario Paul's about to break. <laughs> oh, this is a nice one, too. Yes. Oh, damn, dude, this guy's a chunker, dude. I thought that chunky was barely hooked, though. Really? Oh, my pole. Got spots on it. Last <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're taking this thing way. Look at that. See that belly, guys? See this belly? They are chunky. Right there, see? As soon as it starts hitting rocks, bam! Position myself again. Three, four, five, that's five fish already. You're gonna owe me food. <laughs> that's what happens when you don't believe in us. <laughs> owe me food. Yeah, so it's like all day. Yeah, they're literally right, right in front of us. Yeah, so they're schooling them right here. Oh, damn, this thing swallowed it. Swallowed it. Oh, and snag. The Kitek for the win. Do reaction innovations for the win, bro. <laughs> Yeah, guys, they're not, they're not just like nipping it, they're eating, eating it. Like it is down their throats. You don't got pliers? Oh my lord. Yeah, my reaction innovation is catching them big ones, no? <laughs> they got stomachs, though. So we're at seven now. He's gonna have to owe me lunch. So they weren't upstream, they're literally sitting downstream more. And this is where the rocks usually are. Over there there's rocks too, but we were fishing, we weren't, I wasn't hitting hard ground. So I think this hard ground with the rocks is really, really helping. What? Like because. Right there, oh, that's a night fish, dude. Oh, came off. What? You suck. Aw, <laughs> oh, damn it. Ah, oh, come off, please. <sighs> Rock bass for days. Well, at least I know there's rocks there. Now I'm gonna have to break it. Oh, and it came off. Dude, you're so annoying. I'm not taking this guy fishing with me anymore. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
Get out! <laughs> I'm trying! I keep turning! No, we only come here in the spring. <laughs> what? Well, of course we come here in the summer. What do you think? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Make it. Oh my gosh, don't go into my thing. Oh my god, dude, that's gotta be a two and a half, three pounder. That's gotta be bigger than a two, dude. Yeah, dude, that's gotta be a three and a half. Oh, dude, that guy's big. Let me see her. Oh, that's even smaller. What? One and a half. What? Well, she's not as fat as the other one. Oh, she's longer. Alright, let's try it again. Alright, <laughs> Yeah, it's only a 1.27. 1.27 Hmm, that's weird. That is weird. I don't think the other one was a two pounder. It was a two pounder, it was a two and a half. You know, I, think you know. I think you talk too much. This guy be talking smack all day. <laughs> but catches dinks all day. <laughs> yeah, dinks. Why did I even bring you? This morning I had to hear him cry all day. Now he's talking smack all day. Man. Alright guys, so next week I'll be doing a tournament. Recording it. We're going to be pre-fishing Thursday and Friday. If you're in the Wisconsin area and you want to join the... What is it? The WKFC, Wisconsin Kayak Fishing Club. Make sure to join that. Um, what is it? Yeah, if you're in the Wisconsin area, check it out. A lot of information. They sell like kayaks and stuff. It's just like a Facebook group. Yeah, so it's an awesome place if you guys are in the Wisconsin area. They do, uh, they host some tournaments too, and that's the one that I'm doing. Why am I keep getting stuck? Yeah, but we're gonna be doing that tournament. It's gonna be uh, just Wednesday, or uh, not Wednesday, Saturday. It's gonna be a Saturday event, so hopefully we can uh, win some cash money. And if not, oh well, it's all for the experience. And I miss night. Okay, it's stuck. Just go out there and get it or just break your line. <laughs> oh. oh, dude, what the heck, man? See, holy crap, dude, it just broke my hook. What? It just broke my hook. Uh -huh. What the heck? All right. Well, that's freaking awesome. All right, guys, so this is a new lure that I got from my local store, the Nico Craw. Uh, made in Japan, I have no idea. Like, this thing was literally $13. And this is it. I mean, it looks really, really good. It's supposed to be for Nedrick, I guess. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see how how it works because if it's freaking what 13 14 dollars for a pack a pack of five you're looking at what two four six eight ten so about 
$253 for one freaking thing. Just because it's JDM, let's see if it even catches a fish. Whoa, that is weird. Like the hook barely wants to freaking go through it, dude. <laughs> Oh, no wonder it's like in a, it's kind of like a last tech kind of, that is weird. I mean, there's not a lot of action to it. It just looks like a regular craw, but I think the whole purpose of it is it's kind of like elastic because this hook barely wants to go through it. Like I really, really had to push to, for it to go through. That is the weirdest thing ever. And it works like a charm. <laughs> yep. $13, first cast, guys. It better be a giant. It's not a giant. Holy crap, dude, it freaking, it freaking ate the thing. Holy crap. Oh, Woo. Woo. Look at that. that's a big fat one. Thirteen bucks gets you this. Can't complain, I guess. Thank you, fish. Yeah, so this thing's like, yeah, so it's like that Elastec stuff. You guys see this? It like stretches. I messed up this hook though, or how I hooked it up. Dude, it is such a pain to get off. There you go. Much better. Yeah, you know that like stretchy, stretchy stuff? You know, well, yeah. Dude, it's that really, really stretchy stuff. Stretchy stuff. You like you can stretch it and it won't rip. See that? Ran ramp? <laughs> no, it's like elastic. Never mind. Yeah, so I guess for 13 bucks, this crawl would probably last me all day. Probably last you a year. <laughs> yeah, if it doesn't dry up by then. All right, guys, so ran into a little bit of an issue. So I got my lure stuck out there and got it back. The thing is, the hook is rounded. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Can you guys hear that? There's a nick in it. Best investment ever. Hook sharpener. If you guys don't have a hook sharpener, get one trust me i don't know the correct way everybody has their own little way of uh sharpening hooks but when a heart when a hook goes bad i usually just throw it away but i was like hey you know what you can sharpen a knife you can sharpen a hook look at that digs right back into my nail again and all it took was a couple couple little couple little uh what do you want to call it back and forth you don't want to from what i did research on you don't want to go back and forth you want to just go one way one way one way kind of like so pretend this is the hook point start from one side and just kind of turn it normally when they go bad i just throw them out but I was like, you know what? Sick and tired of spending, you know, a couple dollars on some hooks. They go bad and I just toss them. Save a lot more money just spending. Bought mine on eBay or uh, Amazon. You can just go on Amazon, look up like fish hook sharpeners. And they're like 6 to $7. So I have a pair. So I have two. This should last me a long time. So... There's a trick for you guys if you guys uh keep getting dull hooks from getting snags. 
Oh, dude, that was literally right on that rock. Right there. Yes. <laughs> Never seen a fish like that, guys. <sighs> what do you think it weighs? Oh, five. <laughs> no, I'd say like one. A one pounder right here. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> tiny one. Tiny, tiny. Take it though. There you go. Got a baby. GoPro, stop recording. Damn, dude, that guy's a fighter. That guy's got to be a big one, dude. It is not fighting like the other ones. Either that or I'm just getting weaker. Oh, that's a big end, dude. Okay, that is a big end. That is a big end. I am not joking. That, oh my God, dude, that is big. A lot bigger than my other ones. Ah. Dude, I better not do If I lose her, I'm going to be pissed. Come on. Oh. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Oh. Dude, this neck can barely handle her, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Look at that! Oh, dude! Oh my God, dude! That is huge! Oh, oh my God! Oh, shit! Oh my God! I am shit, dude! That is not a three! Oh my God! Mike, you look like a three. From here, guys, look at that! You know, I gotta, I gotta wear. I am, I'm freaking shaking though. I'm gonna tear it. She's gotta be more than a three, dude. What? How is it only a 1.18? No way, dude. What? I don't know. I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on and then I'm gonna put her back on. Dude, this is more than a two pounder, dude. <coughs> a 1.8, no way. There's no way she's a 1.8. All right guys, so that female, she had to be a female, she was huge. So my scale is not, dude, it is not reading it right. That is not one pound or a two pounder. She was heavy. Her compared to what all these other fishes were, you know, just by holding them, she weighed significantly more. And my other one weighed a, a two and a half. And that was a big guy already. So either my scale is messed up or I'm messed up. But that fish is way bigger than the other ones. Holy crap, dude. Yep. Oh my god. Oh. Been a long time since I seen your face. Ugh. Oh, great. Pretty, pretty. 
There you go. And move that a little further out. And I caught one. I think, what is it? It's a tiny one. First fish in a while. Little chunker. Not a bad one. What? Not a big one? Uh, yeah, she's pretty big. There you go, that's a beauty. Her top fin's messed up though. Look at that, probably got hit by a pike or something. Thank you, baby girl. Alright guys, been a while since I caught another one. Look at that stomach, dude. That stomach is ridiculous, dude. Look at that. They are feeding really good. So technique has changed. Same craw, slow fish it. Like super duper slow. That's all I'm using on a net rig literally just hopping it over rocks slow fish and i'm gonna get a weight on her because she's a fatty so she's a fatty she's gotta get weighed i must not be on a fish you can go fish over here if you want One pound, 18. Oh, you know what? What? That's because it's kilograms and not fucking pounds. How do you change that? All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah, for some reason, I was just, the whole day, I was so excited catching fish that I must have, like, accidentally, like, turned the scale from from pounds to kilograms because there's, like, three settings on the, the Rapala scale. It's, like, pounds, pounds and ounces, and kilograms, so... I didn't realize that I didn't obviously I didn't read the owner's manual that was just uh, on and off apparently it wasn't so yeah kilograms converted to pounds would be like it was about a four pounder it's like a 3.9 something I don't know how technical you guys want to get it because it's like 16 ounces make a pound but I'm just gonna call it a 3.9 something so I'm, I'm just gonna call it a four pounder that's my official PB, and it was ridiculous the whole freaking day. I can't believe it. I think the first couple fishes were, it was on pounds, and then when I was turning it on, I must have clicked it twice, and it changed the the scale measure 
from kilograms to pounds to kilograms so i don't even i don't even know anymore <laughs> Right, guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know it was a super long one we, we just caught a lot of fish that day it was just probably caught more than like 30 40 smallmouth bass ranging from about i'd say two pounds to four is my max i'd say two pounds to four pounds for a small smallmouth and that's not bad because the time they were feeding they all literally all the fishes had huge stomachs like they were feeding up really good and it was it was a blast guys um i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did uh please leave a like because it'll help me out a lot um yeah leave a comment if you guys have a question anything uh just let me know so all right guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time